Then I gotta take all they bad to show this okay. Yeah, this is. Yeah, they was on it. They was performing? Yep, there they go. Look, Tom. Oh, they in blue? Yeah. Got done with my workout and my camera's about to die. Why? I just got done with my workout. It's my first day back in the gym and I got a little workout and trying to get back in the gym. I haven't been to the gym in probably a month. Cause it's like when you take them little breaks, it's like it's hard for you to get back up and get back in the gym. But I had some motivation today. Today's January 1st. We're in a new year, new vibes, new intention, new goals, new habits, healthy habits. And yeah. Uh, tell me why I just went to talk about and they discontinued the mango freeze that I was just telling y'all about in the other video. Now they got this blue raspberry strawberry. I don't know what the fuck, but 
we're gonna try it and we're gonna see how it is. Hey you guys. So right now I'm currently getting ready for my photo shoot. My photo shoot is at nine o'clock and it's currently 6.15 right now. I have my phone in the charger. It's January 1st, you guys. So we're in a new year. New blessings, new intentions, new goals, new healthy habits. You feel me? I already did my eyebrows. As you can see, my eyebrows came out really good. I don't know where this random pimple came from. There's like random pimples popping up on my face, which I don't know why. But we're going to get started on this makeup. I'm just going to... Get ready with you guys. This is like a little mini get ready with me for my photo shoot. I'm going to touch on a couple of topics while I'm doing my makeup. Um, we're in a new year. There's new blessings coming in. You know, God has been blessing us. God blessed us to see another year. I'm so excited for what this year has to come. So first things first, for the new year, I definitely, I definitely am going into this new year with positive energy. I'm not going in with no negative energy, no grudges that's being held. No negativity, you know, all that stuff. I left in 2022. Whoever I was on bad terms with or just wasn't on speaking terms with, I, um, you know, we spoke, I spoke it out with them or I either just cut the person off or we spoke it out because sometimes if it's a situation like that and it's somebody that you really care about and love, for example, say it's a family member, you can't really cut family, I mean, you can cut certain family members off, but if it's somebody that, you know, is immediate family and you can't really avoid going around it, then, you know, it's best to try to talk it out and just come together as a family, you know? So as far as cutting people off, I really don't even surround myself around people in general, so I didn't really have many people to cut off. It was really just, me falling back from bullshit like that's just me keeping it a buck it was just me falling back from the bullshit you know? and if you notice that somebody's in your life that's not serving you any like that's not bringing that's not uplifting you or being positive or they're just draining your energy then it's time to cut them off just prayed about it i got to guide me and you know whoever's meant for me is gonna be for me whatever's meant for you will never miss you and sometimes you just gotta love people from a distance like you could love somebody but that doesn't mean you have to be around them that doesn't mean you have to talk to them every single day you know um you can love them from a distance and if they don't respect that or if anybody doesn't respect your space that you give yourself or that you give anyone else then you can just tell them kick rocks down the block with no socks going into the new year i just want to go to the gym more stay consistent with that because when you're consistent with something that's when you will see the results you get what i'm saying say you're practicing for your um craft that you want to do you know or your career that you want to do you keep practicing that every day and you're consistent with that then you're going to get better and better at that mental health i feel like Mental health is a big thing in this generation, and it's a big thing in general, but I feel like sometimes it doesn't get taken seriously all the time, and that's what blows me because it's real, y'all. Like, there's people out here that's going through way worse things than us or than I am. I'm going to speak for myself. But, like, anxiety, depression, whatever you're dealing with, whatever it is, it's real, and don't just... I don't even know if this lighting is like, but yeah, mental health is definitely important. Like you should always cater to your mental, make sure that you're good mentally and just in the right headspace because when you go into things not in the right headspace, you start making erratic decisions and you just start, you know, spiraling out of control. I also want to do a social media detox or just a detox in general because I feel like a lot of the times we don't realize how like, we're literally just in our phones 24 seven. And I'ma speak for myself. I notice that I'll be in my phone crazy sometimes and I really just wanna have like a step back, which I do take those social media breaks and those detoxes when like, you know, my mental is not there or my headspace is not where I want it to be at. I might just delete the app on my phone or I might just turn my phone off in general and put my phone somewhere for a couple hours and not touch it, not go on it, not do anything, you know? Foundation, which I did a, a makeup tutorial already on all of this. So if you haven't seen it, just go 
on my channel and look for it. I gotta show you guys the outfit when I put it on. The outfit is so fire and the shoes. I had to get them last minute because I was literally like running around looking for some shoes to, for the fit. And I could not find you know, shoes. And then I was like, let me just go on Rainbow and see what they got because it's so last minute and I don't have time to be running around anymore. Y'all, I found the perfect shoes that I was looking for right in Rainbow. Like, Rainbow really do be coming through sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. And they be coming through with the prices too. Don't sleep on Rainbow. The outfit itself came up to like $80. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the outfit when I'll get done. Overall, I feel myself just getting closer to God and that's what I really wanna do in 2023. I really wanna just get closer to God because if you have God, then like you're literally set to go. You get what I'm saying? Like, you just gotta have faith in him. You just gotta have trust in him. Like, know that he gonna hold it down. When has he ever not held it down? Like, keep it above. You can't say a time because he, he comes through every time. Some things we may not understand in the moment, but we understand later down the line because it's like, okay, that was for my, that was for my best interest. Honestly, in 2023, I really just want to work on myself internally. In general, overall, I just want to work on myself because like, I know that it's things that I need to work on within myself. I know it's things like certain defense mechanisms that I do, like I shut down. I don't like how I just shut down and I can't express myself or I can't put what's in my mind into words and let it out. You get what I'm saying? So I think that's low key the Aquarius in me. And like, I was listening to this podcast the other day cause like now I'm starting to try to like feed my mind things that's gonna help me, things that's gonna educate me. Know for sure podcast will be Simone and Megan. They really be on there talking facts, bro. Like. Just speaking facts in general. I don't know where all this Aquarius hate came from. It wasn't on the podcast, but like in general, cause I was seeing like posts on Instagram about like Aquariuses and like this, that, and the third about Aquariuses. But like literally us Aquariuses be chilling, bro. I'm gonna speak for Aquarius women, not Aquarius men. Cause Aquarius men are a little, yeah. I'm not even gonna go there, but it was basically touching on like, who are you in every room that you come into? But saying like something about Aquarius shapeshifter and like, I was just, I had to step back and question myself, like, do I, it's like, who are you when you walk into every room? Like, are you yourself or are you trying to fit in with whatever crowd you're around? Or are you trying to be something that you're not? And me, I had to question myself because like sometimes if I'm not comfortable in the environment or I'm not, or I don't know the people that I'm around in that environment that well, then I will be more closed off or I will but I feel like that's anybody though. Like you're not just gonna be automatically comfortable talking up with someone. Like some people can do that, but me personally, I can't. <laughs> like you feel me? But people usually come to me and speak to me first, I guess, cause they feel my energy. Like every time somebody approaches me and like talks to me first, they always tell me that they feel my energy. And they just, it was like God led them to come talk to me and like try to, try to be friends with me or something like that. Sometimes I really just be beating myself up and talking down to myself. So that's another thing that I wanna work on in 2023. You're your biggest critique. And sometimes you really be sitting there in your head just talking shit about your, yourself. And it just be like, for what? Like, you feel me? Like you really be downplaying yourself. And I wanna feed my mind and my brain positive things, things that's intellectually helping me, feeding me wisdom and knowledge for my future. I'm growing into a woman now. Like I'm about to be 21. Going into this new year, I'm about to be stepping into my adulthood and I really just wanna, you know, navigate through that peacefully. But also I know life is hard, you know. It's not gonna be peaches and cream, sunshines and rainbows every single day, obviously, because that's not realistic. But I definitely wanna just move with a positive, a more positive mindset and just be a better person overall. Like, just in general, be more patient patient with myself, patient with the people around me, you know? Cause sometimes I felt, I find myself getting easily irritated or like, I'm just so irritable. My camera died. Put it on the charger for a little bit, but I did finish my makeup. So this is the makeup. I don't know if you guys can see, let me just, this is the makeup. I doubled my lashes, so I picked up some lashes from Rainbow when I got my shoes. You know, they had lashes in there, so I was like, damn, let me pick up some lashes and see how they are. So I doubled them. I got two different pairs, and I doubled them. 
this is the makeup i love how it looks i love it my eyebrows came out so good my lashes look good my lips now i just need to lay my edges and then i'm gonna get dressed and show you guys the fit we're gonna head to the photo shoot i'm just loving this new vibe for the new year these pictures are about to give i'm really about to just there was a couple more topics that i wanted to touch on before i go to my photo shoot um i do need to lay my edges but um, I just wanted to talk about reading, journaling, and manifestation. So I want to start to read more in this new year. Um, I want to pick up the books. I did show you guys in my other videos the books that I have. And um, I'm going to take the time and just go to the library. Like, be in that environment of the books so I can feel inspired. So I can feel motivated to want to read, you know? Um, as far as journaling, I want to just be more consistent with journaling. Because I don't journal every single day. But I do want to journal like you know more often like I'll, i want to get to the point where i wake up and journal every day or I journal every night before i go to sleep and now i'm probably like i probably journal like i'm gonna say three to four times a month and sometimes it depends like it depends you know but i just like to be in the right mindset when i'm journaling there's literally so many things that i manifested in 2022 you wouldn't even believe it because manifestation is real guys like you can manifest anything that you want you can manifest the lifestyle that you want you can manifest that car that apartment the money the relationship that you want i manifested this camera that i'm recording on right now i manifested my playstation that's in the room i manifested my new macbook i manifested love i, I manifested my relationship literally and like god sent that man that was for me to me i manifested money like I told myself that I was gonna have 10K by the end of 22 and I have 10K, I have over 10K. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just have to believe in God. You just have to have faith in God. You just have to trust in God and the universe and know that it's coming your way because it is. Isolation, so I wanna talk about isolation because I often find myself isolating myself, but I don't wanna look at isolation as if it's a bad thing because sometimes you need to isolate yourself. Sometimes you need to recharge your battery like literally i'm the type of person that my social battery will literally run down and i'm ready to go like i'm i'm ready to go like i'm ready to go like it will literally run down so bad and i would just want to be by myself i just want to go home i just want to be alone and i want to be left alone and that's just me i don't know if that's a toxic trait i don't know if that's a if that's a bad thing but sometimes you just need isolation to just get your mind right get your physical right just get everything right. You know, in this life, we're all just learning and just trying to navigate through this journey of life. Like, we're all just learning. This is all new to all of us because we're all just going through. Into my 20s, I'm about to be 21. I'm about to take on more responsibility as an adult. I'm about to start paying more bills. I'm about to start building credit. I'm literally about to go, go get a credit card tomorrow or Tuesday this week because I cannot talk about what I want to do anymore. I just have to do it. I told y'all I need to build up my credit and that's what I'm going to do, baby. That's the first step have to take these steps like you have to push yourself and you have to like nobody's gonna be on top of you besides you it's not gonna get done unless i do it so either you're gonna be waiting around and just wait around for stuff to happen and stuff that you know like you have to be working towards it and in that due time god will bring you your manifestation god will bring you with whatever you're asking him for it's trial and error trial and error like you're not always going to get it right the first time it's not always going to be perfect it's not always going to be what you thought it was i'm also packing up my stuff sorting through my clothes and giving away a lot of my clothes because i am going to be moving in february after my birthday so i'm moving to georgia georgia i'm not going to give you guys all the details right now but just stay on this journey with me you guys will see the glow up you guys will see me evolving and just growing into my my adulthood, my womanhood, my grandmother, my my nana, my great grandmother. Um, she passed away about two years ago. Yeah, it's almost two years now. Um, she was really close to me. Like we were really close. That was the first person that I ever lost. That was like really close to me. And like even now, she still comes in my dreams. Like it's so crazy. Like she comes in my dreams. And I could see her and I could hold her, I can hug her, I could talk to her, you know? Just feel her spirit with me. Honestly, I just want to close up all the open wounds that I have. And I just want to deal with my trauma, you know? Like, I don't want to continue suppressing my trauma and pushing it to the side and brushing it under the rug. You come faced with conflicts or just things in general that trigger me, trigger my past 
yeah some people may need help with that some people may need therapy some people may need christ lord jesus yeah so just want to set new intentions and new goals and habits for 2023 you guys will see this journey like i just feel this sense of happiness coming like y'all i just i feel it coming i feel it coming and i'm speaking into existence we're not doing none of that negativity we're not doing none of that toxicity if you find if you feel like you have toxic people in your life right now and they're not serving you any good they're not bringing anything to the table they're not supporting you financially mentally physically emotionally then why are they there they're draining your energy if you feel like something's not for you, then I say remove yourself because that's what I do. I remove myself. I'm at a point in my life where I don't want to entertain anything that's not serving me any good, any purpose. You get what I'm saying? Like, why am I putting my energy into that? Why am I investing my time, wasting my time, energy, money into that? I want to start waking up earlier, starting my day. I don't want to lay in the bed. Some days you're going to have those days where you want to get up, but you don't want to get out the bed and you don't feel motivated to do anything. But that's that's up to you to really pull yourself out of that and stay on top of yourself and be like, yo, we got to do this. It's what we got to do and we're going to do it. I want to eat healthier. I want to travel more. Like, I just want to, I want to live my life, y'all. I want to go out. I want to travel. I want to get lit. I want to be around motivated people. People that are driven to want to travel, make some money. Like, that's where my mindset is right now. Like, treating this day, January 1st, like, chapter one, episode one, whatever, one, one, one of my life and my journey where I'm just gonna evolve you know so i'm going to lay my edges now this cute little thing that my sister nala gave me so i can like when i do my face routine or when i do my makeup i could just put this on it's so cute this is the hair it's still intact i oiled my scalp and i put some mousse on it earlier but i'm gonna add some more mousse to um bring back some of these curls and we're gonna lay my edges I have so much fun doing this. Like, I don't I don't know why. I'm just a big kid. I have so much fun doing this. But yeah, some of the curls in my hair was getting tangled, so I had to like cut some of them out because it was literal knots. But yeah, the theme for this shoot is definitely giving new era, new aura, new year, new me. Now all I need is just some support and love from my family, friends, and people who care about me. Like, honestly, back to what I was saying about closing those open wounds and stuff like that. And if you're on bad terms with anybody, anybody that you care about, um, well, I need to cut this out. Cause as you guys can see, this is just a piece of hair that's not. If you're not on good terms with anybody, a family member, a friend, and you really care about them, I would say, just go to them and let them know that you love them. Let them know that you're here. Let them know that you care. And um, you know before it's too late because, did I just cut this? Did I just cut that just now? What the fuck? Anyways, um, like men the wounds, like don't go into the new year holding any grudges. Don't go into the new year having hatred in your heart, like literally. Tomorrow is not promised, y'all. There's no point in beefing with somebody over something so petty and so dumb that's not worth it. When you won't, when God forbid, you won't even be able to say goodbye to them or tell them that you love them again. You know, because life, the way life is, it's like you don't, you don't know. You just never know. So I would say, go to them right now and tell them that you love them. And that don't mean you gotta surround yourself with them. That don't mean you gotta be around them and talk to them every single day. But let them know that you love them. Let them know that you care. Let them know that you still love them, but you know, you gotta love them from a distance. And that's all it is. It shouldn't be no hard, because I feel like in this year that we going in and in this generation, in this era right now, it's like motherfuckers be killing, killing each other over petty shit. Like they be so quick to pull out their guns. And it's just like, for what? Like you're willing to take somebody's life for that? It don't be worth it. I, it just don't be worth it. Like, it don't be worth it, y'all. And that's why y'all don't see me outside in the clubs and outside on the on the block because it's not worth it. It's not worth my life. I'm not gonna sit here and put myself 
in a position where I could lose my life. I'm sorry, I'm not. <laughs> That's just me. And I don't have no problem going out, popping out here and there, but when it's coming like, oh, I'm in the club every weekend, I'm in the club every day, no. Now, I'm not just talking about the club scene, I'm just talking about in general, right? Outside or just surrounding yourself with people that you know they be in shit, so now you in shit just by association. You're gonna. He done got locked up by association. I'm pretty sure he out now, but like, just look at it, y'all. Like, y'all gotta take some of this stuff and y'all gotta just learn from other people's experiences and other people's mistakes because you just gonna go through it. You just gonna end up going through it. And it's gonna lead to two things. Either you in jail or you in the grave. And that's just me keeping it above. I'm about to leave my edges and then I will get back to you guys when we are at the photo shoot. By the way, it is a night shoot, so it's gonna be dark. Hopefully, um, my photographer brings like the lighting or whatever, but I'll get back to you guys when I put my outfit on and I'll show you guys my outfit. Hey guys, so this is the outfit. We have the chain for my boyfriend, put some press-ons on and my rings, got the hoops on, and then this is a little dress. Um, as far as the shoes, these are the shoes that I'm wearing and they're gonna be night pictures. So I will get back to you guys at the photo shoot. Hey guys, so we are outside I'm about to start shooting. I'm gonna just put my- I'm gonna have you start. Like it's giving rich and expensive, period. And there's people walking by, but usually I would like cringe up cause my anxiety, but I don't care. Cause I look good. The new energy for 2023, period. It is, it's not that bad. At first I was freezing. Now my feet is just screaming. I see the chain. Hey guys, this is the end of the video. I just came here to share some lessons that I learned in 2022 and goals that I have for 2023. It's the new energy. This is the new vibe that we going into 2023 with. It's gonna be all positivity, all high vibrational, and that's just what it is, period. So I have some stuff that I wrote down in my notes and then I have some stuff that I wrote in my journal. That I'm going to read to you guys. So I'm going to do five things that I learned this year and then five goals that I have for next year, which is basically this year. Five things I learned in 2022. Because so, I wrote this down. Number one, love yourself and know your worth. I learned this in 2022. I really learned this in 2021 as well, but... I just mastered it in 2022 because I was no longer tolerating anybody's bullshit. That's number one. Number two, like, you have to know your worth because if you don't respect yourself, then nobody else is gonna respect you. And that's period point blank. Nobody's gonna respect you if you don't respect you. How can you love somebody important to somebody when you're not, when you don't even have love for yourself? You get what I'm saying? That's gonna leave you drained at the end of the day. So love yourself and know your worth because it's like once you know your worth, you're no longer tolerating or putting up with none of that negative energy. You're just gonna remove yourself or remove that person or thing or whatever it is out of your life. And that's just what it is. Whether that's a job, a person, a relationship, family, friends, whoever it is, 
Number two, remove yourself if it's negative, toxic, or unhealthy. And messing with your mental health. So mental health, I feel like mental health is not taken seriously enough that it should be. Like they just brush it off or they just, oh, they'll be okay. But no, really, it's people going through worse stuff than I'm going through or that you're going through right now. It's messing with your mental, whatever it is, anxiety, depression, whatever, whoever, whatever. Remove it and remove yourself from the situation because it's not worth it. It's not worth draining you. It's not worth you wasting your time because time is something that you can't get back. And you got to realize that at the end of the day. I'm at a point in my life where it's like, I'm not wasting no more time because time is something that I can't get back. Tomorrow's not promised. Like, let's be for real. Okay, number three, stop expecting and don't depend or wait on people. Okay, so what I mean by stop expecting Stop expecting people to give you the same love that you're giving them or stop expecting people to come through for you like, oh, like in the past, I would catch myself like just expecting people to do stuff for me, expecting, you know, like, like something that I would do for somebody, like go out my way to do something. I would expect the person or somebody to do that same thing for me. And that's when I stop because that's when you start getting your feelings hurt because now you're expecting stuff and you're getting your you're getting let down you're getting let down because you're expecting too much out of people and you can't expect people to give the same love that you're gonna give them like it they're just not you you're just not them don't depend or wait on nobody depend on god pray to god and have faith in god if you're depending on anybody it should be god and that's just what it is number four have faith okay have faith is a big thing that i learned because bro it's like when you have faith there's no like there like what do you have to stress about like what do you have to stress about when you have faith in god and you know that something's gonna work out or you know that something is just gonna be what you prayed for it to be like like literally you lay it all in god's hands and you just be like i have faith in you i trust in you i know you're gonna work it out some way somehow because when has he ever not number five Tomorrow's not promised. I learned that over the past three years because I've lost a lot of people that were close to me. Um, you know, and tomorrow's not promised. Like, that's just a fact. Like, take that leap of faith, take that risk, live your life, do whatever you want to do now because tomorrow's not promised. Tell that person that you love them. Stop holding grudges with people. Whether it's whoever that hurt you, let that grudge go. Forgive them for your inner peace. Don't forgive them for them whether they're sorry or not, because they probably moved on with their life, but you're probably still holding on to it. So I would say, let that grudge go for your peace, for your sanity, and move on. Because tomorrow's not promised. How can you expect God to forgive you and love you when you're not even trying to forgive the people that hurt you? Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the goals that I have for 2023. And this is only about five or six of them. So number one is be consistent in everything that I do, whether that's YouTube, going to the gym, taking my vitamins, drinking water. I'm already consistent with drinking water. That's really the only thing I drink, but yeah. Whether that's in anything, be consistent in everything that I do, whether that's praying. I wanna be consistent eating breakfast every morning. You know, like, I just wanna be consistent in everything that I do because consistency is key. Okay, number two save up 25k i already know that i'm going to surpass 25k in 2023 and i'm speaking it into existence right now because i already have faith in god i already know it's coming so yeah that's just one of my goals i want to surpass 25k i should have put surpass not save up 25k surpass 25k but yeah that's number two number three build up credit get credit card first so i'm going to get my credit card tomorrow if not tomorrow then it's, then i'm gonna get it on tuesday today is sunday january 1st i'm gonna go get that credit card and i'm going to build up my credit and that's on period period <laughs> number four catering to my mental physical emotional and intellectual well-being so what i mean by that is just taking the time out of my day to really just the same way you cater to your your physical like how you take a shower every day or how you shave or you know do get your hair done get your nails done whatever mentally i want to cater to my mental whether that's journaling um, meditation emotional i want to deal with my emotions front on like i have a problem with just shutting down with my emotions sometimes and i think that stems from either my childhood trauma or just you know stuff that was passed down to me from 
parents and other family members. As far as my intellectual, what I'm feeding my mind, what am I putting into my mind and what am I feeding my soul? Like the stuff that you're watching, the stuff that you're watching on YouTube, TV, whatever you're watching, that's going into your, that's, that's what you're feeding your mind. So that's what you're gonna be, you know, vibrating off of it. Feeding my mind, wisdom, knowledge. I think this is number five or number four, I don't know. Travel out the country. So I just wanna travel in general. Like 2023, I wanna travel in general. I'm not, we're not gonna sit, like the trip is gonna make it out the group chat. The trip is gonna make it out the messages. Okay, we're gonna be in Dubai, wherever. We're gonna be out traveling the world. That's what I wanna do, I wanna travel. I need to get my passport. That's another thing I want to do. That's another goal. Get my passport. Um, and then another goal is all my social grow. So whether that's YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, whatever, have all of them grow. They're already growing. I already know it's gonna happen. I have faith in God. Period. And last but not least, of course, um, get closer to God. So that's my last goal. I already feel closer to Him. Also, I've been using this Manifesting Dreams journal that I got for Christmas. You guys seen it in my last video. Um, it's really good. Like, it's really, 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 really good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, this was the outfit for the shoot. And those were my goals and lessons for the new year and the past year. So, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love you guys.